Hello YouTube and welcome to this tutorial on uh, how to animate two sprites in uh, Unity 4.6 and for those two sprites to represent an attack uh, of the player or auto, auto attack uh, it's very useful for uh, such things such events so let's get started let me sh first show you what I mean um, I apologize for any background noises um, I have the noise canceler on this um, webcam actually, uh, actually I'm using the uh, webcams rec uh, voice recorder so okay so if I come close to this grown tree here there's this <coughs> texture comes up text comes up and it says press and hold Q button to chop this tree if I press Q button uh, if you pay attention to this uh, icon above the text, it's going to start um, animating. So watch, it's animating, right? And as soon the tree gets cut, animation stops. So I'm gonna show you a similar uh, way to do this. Um, to animate uh, and call it through the function in JavaScript. If you guys figured out how to do this through C sharp, I tried many times and I had many bugs. So um, I would love to uh, see your uh, uh, script in, in C sharp since I am interested in C, C sharp as well. Okay, let's start. Uh, first, let's make a, a canvas. If you don't know how to make a canvas, this is not for the beginners, this is more for the semi-advanced or whatever. Um, canvas, and then in canvas, make, uh, bring in the image into the canvas. Uh, but then, from if you are in a 3D mode in a scene, click on 2D mode so you can when you click on a double click on the image it, it, it's gonna bring in the image so you so you can see what you're doing so <coughs> into this image we, uh, I'm gonna uh, put in the uh, one of the sprites that I have I have two sprites one is X two swords that cross each other and one is looks like an A two swords that look like A so first I'm gonna Bring in the X sword in. And then the next thing is under that same image, I'm going to click on Add Component and I'm going to type in Animation or Animator. Um, click on Animator, just bring in the Animator into the image. Next thing is under Window up here. Oh, actually, I can't see it. Let's see. You won't see it. Let me bring this down a little bit. Okay, so you can see. Okay, window on the window, find animation. Click on the animation. The window is gonna pop up. Um, make sure the image is selected. Click on add curve, and then uh, name your animation. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to speed this up because I can only record. 10 minutes at a time so if you <laughs> don't catch something up um, just uh, try to uh, uh, stop the video and or we uh, watch the video two or three times and I'm sure you'll you'll get it it's really simple once you uh, get how it is how, how this is done um, this uh, button has to be in a record mode it is right now when it's red so whatever you do inside the image it's going this window is going to record so let's switch the images inside the image as you can see animation uh, just added a uh, keyframe uh, next thing is to grab this red line and move it maybe let's say a half a second uh, change this uh, sprite again or image or texture again move the red button so one, that's one second, and again, change the image, and that's it for that. Next thing is, um, 
you have to well this is the anim animated state now you also have to choose the uh, either make a new uh, folder and click on the folder uh, while you are making these animations so you, so the animation will save the animation and the animator this is the animation right here if I cancel this this is the animation the actual animation that we just made it and this is the animator through what we are going to code to make this animation work next thing is to open up the animation animator so go out to the window click on animator and we have animate um, opened up the uh, animator we have any state which we're not going to use and we have animated state now we need the empty state to switch between the empty state and the animated state we don't want the game to animate our sprite uh, constantly it wouldn't look nice so <laughs> next thing is to click on uh, click on the image and go to the window click on animation again under the name of the animation um, anim that we call it click on that and click on the create new clip uh, so when we we have to rename this clip um, let's say empty just call it empty for now save and go back to the anim clip the first one that we created click on the one of the uh, keyframes and copy them by uh, control C again switch to the uh, empty state and paste whatever you copied by control V uh, and then any keyframe that you don't want in that empty sp uh, state just erase it delete it by right clicking on it okay um, so the empty state is done now the next thing is we have to make the empty state uh, switch it to default right now this animated state is default but we have to switch the empty state to default so set as default by right clicking on it set it to default all right next thing is we have to uh, from this state uh, attach a bridge or, or a line to communicate with between two s these two states so by right clicking on it make transition click on that move your mouse over to the empty uh, animated state click right click on it and this is going to connect one way this is like one way from uh, empty state to animated state so click on that bridge or line and if you go to the right of the window you'll see under the conditions you'll see this option here exit time we have to uh, um, make this into a boolean how to do that is by going to the left or in the corner here of this window where it says parameters and there's this icon plus click on that we have float int bool and trigger uh, we're going to use a uh, boolean so click on bool and rename it let's say uh, is active that is where i'm going to rename mine let's say capital a is active okay um and the next thing is well i oh yeah from the um animated state now we have to right click on it make tra uh, transition transition and move it to the empty state and attach it and click on the actually click on the uh, first uh, bridge that we created and click on go to the on the uh, under the uh, conditions click on the exit time and switch it to is active to true and then again we go back to the second bridge that we made again under the conditions exit time active is false and that should be it for this uh, animation or I mean animator I have a few seconds so I'll see you in the